Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Okay. Denzel Washington has begged Chris Rock not to sue Will Smith after he struck the comedian violently at the Oscars this year. The Equalizer actor was seen consoling Smith after the incident that shocked millions of people worldwide. Not only this, but Denzel has played a significant role in convincing Chris Rock to avoid a legal battle with Will Smith and defusing the situation. There's a saying, when the devil ignores you, then you know you're doing something wrong. But despite everything, can Will Smith's career recover after the Oscars slap? And how does Chris Rock controls Will Smith's future prospects in the Hollywood industry? In the next seven minutes, we'll explain everything you need to know about this crazy development. Will Smith went from beloved film favorite to Hollywood villain after he slapped Chris Rock on stage at the Oscars. But has he done permanent damage to his image and career? And what might happen next? Most importantly, how did Denzel Washington contribute in Chris Rock vs. Will Smith drama? Let's find out. Denzel Washington has spoken publicly for the first time about the 2022 Oscars and his response during the ceremony after Will Smith slapped Chris Rock on the stage of the Dolby Theatre. The Oscar-winning actor appeared with author and pastor T.D. Jakes as part of his International Leadership Summit in a discussion centered on Washington's career and faith. During the panel, the conversation turned to Sunday night's Oscars, where Smith took to the stage in an unscripted move and slapped Chris Rock after the comedian and presenter made a reference to Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, her bald hairstyle, and the film G.I. Jane. I, I don't know all the ins and outs of the situation, but uh, I know the only solution was prayer. As a response, actor Denzel Washington has explained the devil comes for you as words of support for Will Smith after the latter slapped comedian Chris Rock on the Oscar stage. In his acceptance speech after winning the Best Actor award during the ceremony, Will has shared what Denzel told him to calm his nerves. He was offended by a joke that Chris made about his wife. After winning the award for his performance in King Richard, Will said, Denzel told me, at your highest moment, be careful. That's when the devil comes for you. During his five-minute acceptance speech, Will talked about defending his family and apologized to the Academy. A day later, Smith issued an apology to the comedian, to the Academy, and to viewers at home, saying he was out of line and that his actions are not indicative of the man I want to be. Denzel said, Well, there's a saying. When the devil ignores you, then you know you're doing something wrong. The devil goes, Oh no, leave him alone. He's my favorite. Conversely, when the devil comes at you, maybe it's because he's trying to do something right. And for whatever reason, the devil got a hold of him that night. Denzel was also nominated that night for his performance in The Tragedy of Macbeth. Fortunately, there were people there, not just me, but others. Tyler Perry came immediately right over there with me, said some prayers. I don't want to say what we talked about, but there but for the grace of God go any of us. Who are we to condemn? I don't know all the ins and outs of the situation, but I know the only solution was prayer, the way I see it," he added. On the other hand, Jim Carrey slammed Will Smith for slapping Chris Rock at the 94th Annual Academy Awards, as he believes that Hollywood is spineless for giving a standing ovation to King Richard actor for winning the Oscar. I was sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless. Reacting to the dramatic moment happened at the prestigious award ceremony, the actor-comedian told CBS Morning's Gail King that he would have sued Smith for $200 million if it were him hosting the show. For announced this morning that I was suing Will for $200 million because that video is going to be there forever. It's going to be ubiquitous. The 60-year-old actor went on about how disgraceful the slap was for Chris Rock. He further stated, That insult is going to last a very long time. If you want to yell from the audience and show your disapproval or say anything on Twitter, that's fine. But you do not have the right to walk up on stage and smack somebody in the face because they said words. After the Oscars, Chris Rock continued his tour and received several standing ovations before he told one joke at his first comedy show since Will Smith slapped him in the face on stage at the Oscars. 
Rock only briefly addressed the slap to the sold-out show in Boston, saying he was still kind of processing what happened. Other than the weird thing, life is pretty good, Rock said midway through his first of two sets. The nighttime performances came just three days after Smith smacked the comedian for making a joke about his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, while presenting an Academy Award. Rock didn't mention Smith or Pinkett Smith by name at his show in Boston. Wearing all white, he seemed to be almost embarrassed by the multiple ovations he received. As the applause carried on for minutes with fans yelling, I love you, Chris. How was your weekend? Rock joked before getting into his set. Ticket prices skyrocketed after Smith took to the award stage and slapped Rock on live TV. But the comedian made clear he wasn't going to talk at length about it Wednesday. If you came to hear about that, I'm not. I had like a whole show I wrote before this weekend, Rock said. He spent much of the night skewering celebrities and politicians. Among them were the Duchess of Sussex, the Kardashians, as well as President Joe Biden, Hillary Clinton, and former President Donald Trump. Outside the venue, a fan showed off a t-shirt featuring the G.I. Jane logo and Pinkett Smith's face. Another had a shirt he made that showed Smith's face and displayed a crude joke about the couple's relationship. At least one person yelled during the show that Rock should sue Smith. Afterward, some fans were a little disappointed he did not address the controversy more directly, but they also said they could see from his body language that he wasn't sure how to do it. But since Denzel Washington's comments, it seems that Chris Rock has taken Denzel's request way too seriously, as the Oscar presenter has declined to file a police report over actor Will Smith's slap during the live broadcast of the Academy Awards ceremony. But insiders have just shed some light on Chris Rock's plan of action regarding Will Smith's future career. This revelation has been made by sources close to Radar and according to their findings, Chris Rock seems very disinterested in trying to kiss and make up with Will Smith. Will and his people know the best way to end this is to set up a meeting between Smith and Rock, from which a picture is leaked to the press. The PR theory is that if Chris can forgive Will, then we the public can too, the insider explained. However, the big problem with that plan is getting Chris on board, since, why would Chris do this? What is in it for him? It's obvious that Will would gain from the meeting, but how would such an event help Chris? The same source also went on to add, I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that Will Smith's future is literally in the hands of Chris Rock. Chris is a good guy and wouldn't do anything to hurt Will, but at the same time, I'm not sure he will do anything to help. Let's be clear, Will is responsible for what happened. It is up to Will to fix it, not Chris. Smith also has a number of films in the pipeline that have now been thrown into uncertainty. They include Bad Boys 4, Bright 2, and Apple's Emancipation in which he plays a runaway slave. Other Hollywood stars who have fallen from grace may offer clues about what comes next, even if the circumstances of their behavior differ. Johnny Depp lost his role in the third Fantastic Beast film after losing a libel case over a newspaper article that called him a wife-beater. But he kept his Christian Dior adverts and a die-hard fan base who have continued to support him at every turn. He has also just been cast in his first film since the libel trial, a French production in which he will play Louis XV. Mel Gibson has been hit by scandal more than once, admitting a drunken anti-Semitic outburst in 2006 and in 2010, when leaked tapes emerged of a tirade including racist insults against his then-girlfriend, who accused him of physical abuse. He was eventually welcomed back by Hollywood and was nominated for an Oscar in 2017. Smith's career may be wounded, but if he can reconcile with Hollywood, it's not necessarily over. And that brings us to the end of today's video. What are your thoughts about Denzel Washington's take on Will Smith Oscar's slap? Tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching.